All right, so the next assignment is 3C, which is to verify the data files to make sure that they have been imported correctly by cross-referencing statistical mechanical uh, uh, numbers with information we either collected from the client or information we collected from their financial statements. Don't forget to make sure you are copy pasting your images. In this 3C, you may need to do a little more copy pasting. If you haven't done it, it's okay, but I would prefer that you give me all of those uh, uh, statistics for each one of those records. All right, so let's get started with idea. First, I'm gonna move this out of the way and we'll go into idea. I wanna make sure that I'm only activating the accounts payable database. Uh, I can either double click on the name if this was closed, I just need to double click on that. And so when it, it is open, then I can look at the field statistics. If they have not been generated, then you can say, go ahead and generate them at this point. All right. So we start with the numeric fields of amount and check. So in the amount and the check, let me check both of those. And let's make sure that your database totals agree. Um, well, let's find out what numbers they gave us at this point. Um, I found it on page 113. If you want to look at 113, should, this should be 30 million, 202,660 dollars with 57 cents. Anyhow, let's just make sure that um, the data is properly generated, the statistics. And it looks like this is correct. We have a minimum number of transactions, um, checks, sample standard deviation, sample variance. So this is not uh, making a lot of sense for now, and it won't be necessary. Now we have 997 checks, 999, 999 checks, but only 997 amounts for those checks. It's possible a couple of those may have been voided. We will want to take a look at those uh, uh, if that was necessary, right? So this is invoice uh, dictated temp, ta temp table uh, for the amount of zero dollars. I would want to check those to see if, if if they were actually voided or if they were authorized uh, for that invoice. But anyway, let's not get too too far um, uh, to necessarily too. Uh, Far from where we're at. All right. So in terms of the character fields, there are one. There's one record without a supplier number, so that is important and it should be recognized. So truck stop does not have a supplier number. That means that somehow it was not indexed on the system. It looks like somebody may have created that record by itself without a supplier number. It needs to be further investigated. There's also a pay that is missing one of the checks for the amount of 97,000. That's that's a big red flag. I would want to check it out. All of the records have an invoice and an authorization, which is great. There's a total of 49 unique suppliers in our database with 84 different names. Now, I don't like this because 84 pays have 49 unique suppliers. So it is possible that this payee may have changed its name, you may have misspelled it, abbreviated. So let's find out what that is all about. And there's 999 records or invoices, which is which is uh, matching the rest. All right. Now, in terms of our uh, date span, we have invoices that come all the way from January of uh, 2015, and the latest date is 12/6/2015. That's our accounts payable. And our pay due date, uh, or the pay date, is 1-12-2015, 12-29-2015. It looks like that may be, in fact, correct. Um, what else should I pay attention to in terms of this? So, by the way, I should start print, print screening all of these into my 3C field. So, I'm just going to do that. Um, and I'm going to go to the next. In the 3B for the characters. I looked at that. I print screen it to so make sure that I am showing that I am 
looking at all of those. And then the next one would have been um, not the not the characters, but the date. And this is another one. So you need about three print screens for this. Uh, what else? That's it. Let's look today. Okay. So now we should go to we should go to the next database. And now that it's active, I'm going to close the other one and look at the field statistics. I'm going to start with making sure that I have uh, the statistics for um, the numeric fields, which would be the total previous year values. Um, and I have the number of 46 positive records versus zero negative records. I am looking at all of those numbers. And this is um, interesting because I'm only allowed to have up to $30 million worth of records or worth of authorized uh, payables, yet the total amount of accounts payable was a little more than that. So there's some discrepancy. I would like to know what that is all about. Um, there are uh, 48 supplier names that I authorized and 47 suppliers. This is not, I'm not liking this at all. So we will take a look at what's going on once we actually go into the authorization. So let's go ahead and print the screen and add it to our 3C so that we can wrap it up. And I think that at this point, we can see that the control amount for the um, uh, accounts payable should be $34 million. Let's go back and generate it real quick. Let's go ahead and control based on the amount. So the control total sh should be 34 million. So this is what's going on, right? But according to the client, what was authorized was only $30 million. Let me go back to the data and I can do a control field with the total previous authorization, sure enough. So there is a clear discrepancy between what was authorized and what was actually owed in terms of accounts payable. Now with this, we've proven the footings for the client's data files. Let's go ahead and close it and go with the next activity.